Hello guys, welcome back to Pondi. So today I'm heading up the east coast, I'm going for a little session up in Eastbourne sort of area. Um, I'm going to meet my dad up there, not exactly sure on the location yet, um, preferably somewhere where the whiting aren't so ravenous at the moment. I went for a session with Jord earlier, we tried to do a little film, um, ended up catching nothing but whiting, had about 500 of them in a couple of hours, triple shots, every single cast. You know, I was taking two of them on a double squid on a panel. Um, half the time they weren't even hooked, they were just wrapped up in the elastic. But I'm stuck in traffic at the moment, so I thought I'd film a little intro. I wasn't planning to actually film this trip, but I'll do a little intro now just in case something good happens. Could be a few cod and bass about. Uh, depends on the location that we settle on. But yeah, let's get down there and uh, hopefully we have a few fish. this week, a bit of an offshore wind coming in, so hopefully that might have pushed the cod a bit closer to the shore, and hopefully a few big bass as well, still floating about, it's getting on in the year now, but the water temperature should still be okay for the bass, um, but hopefully we just don't get plagued out by the white one again, because that is just a bloody nightmare. Right, this is the spot then guys, let's get out and have a look at the sea. Right then guys, so we just got down to the beach now, it's pretty rough out here. I'm just going to cast this rod, I've just tied up a flapper in the, in the van, lug on each one, little 2 o hooks, I'm just going to pump that out there as far as I can in the hope of a couple of codlin and the other rod is going to be either squid or some mackerel. We've got rag, lug, squid and mackerel as bait so a lot of choice to choose from. It's about one o'clock now, we're going to be here till probably two, three in the morning so there's a good chance of a few fish. Let's sling these rods out. First fish, Daz has had this little fatty, little flounder or something there, first fish, there what we go. Said, it? Yeah, not a bad one. What meaty little thing? Lovely job. Yeah. Right, well, another fish. I'm getting schooled here. Schooled by a load of schoolies. What was that on? Just lug? Bit of lug. Bit of lug that one. Yeah. Nice little bag. Nice little fish there, slinging back. I've had uh, one whiting so far, I didn't even film it because you know what my opinion on whiting are. Um, but hopefully, yeah, that bass might be the start of better things. Just about to start getting dark now, it's about 4.30. Haven't had anything else apart from two whiting now. Uh, the fish seem to be coming from closer range. The ones I've been punting out there, sort of into cod territory just done nothing but whiting so far so uh, I'm still going to fish one at range because I do want a cod and they have been about so I will persist with that. I've dropped the other one in closer, hopefully that doesn't fish but yeah it's been tough so far, hopefully if the fish start coming in sort of as it gets darker but I can only hope really so let's get back to it. Bit of a better bass guys, not the biggest one in the world but it's a nice change from the old whiting. What do you use? That's powder, isn't it? Yeah, little powder. Powder. Let's go. Let's go on as a whole bait. That was just the um, just on the lug worm. So this thing is kind of that. Cool. Don't get a few more. Got a few snacks in here. Have the chicken sarnies like. And a couple of these naughty little fellas. I have one of those now. And 
Hopefully the bikes keep coming. Dad reckons he's into a bigger there. Whole bluey. Oh, the whole pal. Oh, it's a massive bass. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's an absolute stonking fish. That. That's an eight nine pounder. Took that look. What was that on the whole pouting? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, that's a fish and a half. We'll go get the scales. Yeah, we're gonna go get the scales, guys. We're gonna weigh this guy up. Just have a look at him. Oh, yeah. That is a massive bass, that. Um, biggest bass I've seen. I've probably caught, I've caught a bass of similar size, but this one looks to be even bigger, to be honest with you. That's got to be... Well, we'll find out. Let's weigh him up. I'm not an expert by any means, but I don't know, maybe not a double figure, but... It's got to be eight pounder. Yeah, but I don't think... Seven... Seven pound ten ounce. <laughs> wow, that be, it? that's a good one. Oh. Can't see it that well, to be honest. Oh, there we go, that was better. Look at that one. Look at that for a fish, there we go. She's going back. Eight pounder, she's going back into the sea. There she goes, she's back off. What a beauty. Oh, that's a good one, wasn't it? Right then guys, what do you think of that bass? I mean, unfortunately my head torch's battery was pretty low at the time. Uh, I've changed it up now, but boy, that was an absolute beast of a fish. Uh, Seven pound, 10 ounce. So not mine, unfortunately. It was my dad's lucky day today. Uh, it's, it's low tide now. So I've just walked it right down. It's sort of, it's a shingle bank and it hits sort of a sandy flat at the end and then the tide just goes way out. So I've rebated up my two rods, double squid on one, double lug on the flapper rig and I've just walked it all the way to the edge it's literally the tide just start coming back in now so I've cast them out as far as I can um, I'm going to leave them out till it comes back in and that's sort of my tactic to try and catch a codling today well it's my turn for a nice fish now um, just had this bass not sure how big it is probably about a four pounder I'm um, just going to pass the camera over to my dad in a minute and we're going to take a few snaps. So happy days, we're, we're striking some lovely bass tonight. Uh, it's absolutely perfect conditions for him out here. And uh, yeah, what more can I say? I hope we have a few more of these to come. I've got a cracking fight there in shallow water. Four pound two. So under, just under four with the, with the bag of it. Yeah, about four with the bag. Lovely. Yeah, happy days on the double squid. Let's get this fella back and whip the rods back out there and hope to have a few more. You know that, come on. Made that trip worthwhile for me now. More to come, I'm telling you. So I've noticed a lot of these um, razor clams getting washed up on the beach. I'm going to crack a couple of these open. They're, they're still alive. Um, I'm going to thread on two, two nice lug there and then uh, tip them off with these razor clams. Lug tipped off a bit of razor clam and on this flapper, same thing. Just hook that one through the bottom there, try and keep it alive for a bit longer. Right, another bass. About the uh, fourth, fourth or fifth fish now. Bass anyway, so happy days. Too yeah, two pounders, something like that, two and a half. Yeah, not a bad fish. Yep. Sling is on a roll, back. on a roll. That was on the straight lug. Right, the tide's coming up and uh guess what? Guess what? I guess he's back. They're always oh. hooked in a horrible place as well. See you later mate. Don't come back. Right guys. 
Uh, it's about 12 o'clock now, midnight. Um, tide's been coming in from the low. Haven't had any fish for a while now. So we're going to give it about 10 minutes to start packing up. Don't think we're probably going to have any more bites. It seems to have died off now, but we're going to start slowly packing up. I'll give you a shower when we're back. Right, back at the van now, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little session. Some cracking bass caught today. Um, I'm going to go and get my head down and my dad's camping now. I uh, won't be doing any more fishing this trip, but yeah, it was nice to get out and try somewhere different, a uh, different sort of area. And we caught a few nice fish as well, so don't forget to hit that like button, sub, comment, and I'll catch you in the next one.